Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Scott, aka Baker Turtle here, back with a Pokemon Draft League battle. Yes, today we are facing Jason. Uh nickname Pips, I think. Uh let me let me just double check. Uh this is part of the ACDL, the Altered Creations Draft League. This is Dylan's League on Discord. And uh yeah, his his username is Pips Prime Rib. <laughs> yeah, but he his name is Jason. And uh, we are facing him today, and this is week seven. And uh, currently, I am on a four-game winning streak. I am four and three right now, after starting zero and three. And I'm hoping to keep this win streak alive, and hopefully, make my run for playoffs. And uh, yeah, so he is actually. Um, three and three it says so i don't know if he did his last week's battle i don't know if he got the win he might have so let's just say he is also four and three should be a tough battle um he has an interesting team so let's get into it all right so let me let you know what his team is he has dragapult jirachi mandibuzz mega manectric amoongus hitmontop araquanid darmanitan cryogonal Alchemy and Kangaskhan. So, looking at his team, I notice he doesn't really have an electric immunity, and uh, he doesn't have a a good fire resist. I mean, he has Dragapult for fire resist and Darmanitan, but those are not uh, good resists. He doesn't have like a good bulky water. He does have a Raquinid, but I don't think that is sufficient enough for his team. So, looking at his lack of electric immunity i mean he does have mega manectric but you know with ampharos mega ampharos having mode breaker that's not gonna fly here so first pokemon i have here is mega ampharos so i wanted to make this very bulky on the physical side so that i have something to switch into jirachi um and uh and darmanitan as well earthquake does about half so I can switch into a Flare Blitz and then EQ, so I, I have to be careful about that, but I do hope to be a little more offensive with my team and not be defensive and switching around and stuff like that, but I do want to make this really bulky so that I can have an answer for those. So I have Toxic here, uh, so I can get the Alchemy, I can get the, um, the uh, Hitmontop. Uh, things like that. Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, and Volt Switch should handle the rest. Next up, I had to have this one. Um, Alolan Muck with Pursuit. So I can get that Dragapult. I can get the Jirachi. I can just like uh, force things out and hopefully get the Pursuit damage off. Uh, knock off damage as well. Poison Jab uh, for the Alchemy. For everything else. For the, for the Mandibuzz. For the, you know, the Mega Manectric. Things like that, and I also want to get Toxic off. So I want to Toxic his team, whittle it down, so that I have, uh, you know, chipped his team down enough so that I can win with my Pokemon. I This this is an interesting EV spread that I have. I do want this to be um, pretty physical offensively, so that I can do a lot of damage versus Jirachi and Dragapult and uh, Mandibuzz and things like that. Um... I want this special defensive so that I can switch into Dragapult. I can take on Alchemy a little bit. Um, Amoongus as well. But but yeah, so next up I have Life Orb Cinderace here. So I can go Adamant because next fastest is... Um, I mean, he does have Cryogonal, but... Um, I can pretty much handle anything Cryogonal can throw at me, so I just wanted to outspeed a Jirachi if it's not Scarfed and uh, take that on. But um, I do have Sucker Punch for the Dragapult and Pyro Ball for everything else. Like I said, he doesn't really have a Fire Resist. He does have Darmanitan and Dragapult, but that's not going to be enough. Hopefully, I can force something out with, with this and then bulk up. I also put Court Change on because I'm not bringing Hazards myself. And he does have the option for Sticky Webs with Araquanid. He can set Rocks with Jirachi. And uh, I can just Court Change uh, that away. 
and put it on his side of the field. Next up, I have one of my win conditions here, Tapu Lele, Scarf, oh, Scarf so I can outspeed a Dragapult that is not plus one. So a Dragon Dance Dragapult could sweep me here, um, but hoping that that doesn't happen. Uh, I do have Moonblast, Psychic, and I need Shadow Ball for the Jirachi. I do expect Jirachi to be his main switch in to Lele, and I'm just going to be trying to fire off Moonblasts after that. He does have Amoongus to switch into, so Amoongus, Mandibuzz, that core um, can predict. If he can predict correctly on a Moonblast, he can go into Amoongus. On a Psychic, he can go into Mandibuzz. But um, hopefully I can get the Mandibuzz Toxic with perhaps uh, Mega Ampharos or um, primarily the Muck. But I do have Draining Kiss. I, I was uh, not sure what else to have. Honestly, I'm, I think I'm thinking. Of, yeah, I'm double guessing here, um, second guessing myself. So I'm gonna put. Where is it? Um, I'm just gonna put Nature's Madness. So Nature's Madness for the Jirachi, if it wants to come in, um, I can. I, I honestly, I just don't expect clicking that at all. But I need to also speed tight with Scarf Darmanitan as well, in case anything happens. So I want that there. So next up, I have another win condition here, Miss Magius. Um, he doesn't have much for this as well. So substitute, so I hopefully I can switch, so I can force maybe the Jirachi out. I can force something out, get the substitute off, Nasty Plot, and then Shadow Ball, everything. Uh, and then Dazzling Gleam, the, the Hitman on top, Dazzling Gleam, the Mandibuzz. And Shadow Ball should hit everything else. I'm, I'm pretty much discarding the Kangaskhan. I don't really care about Kangaskhan at all, honestly. I don't know what kind of player he is, so he might bring it. He might bring some weird team, but I feel like this should be enough. Um, yeah, so just enough speed for Jirachi. I don't really care for outspeeding Cryogonal, honestly. And last but not least, uh, my another win condition here, I have... Uh, safety goggles, Scrappy Mill Tank. I I played around with a different some sets here, and um, was thinking I could be uh, leftovers with Sap Zipper because I, I I do I am concerned about the Amoongus maybe with Spore, so that's why I did put the safety goggles here. And uh, and uh, I want the Heal Bell so I can not get toxic i'm just i honestly plan to just like curse up and body slam scrappy i can hit the dragapult and if he i mean he has him on top to hit me super effective but i mean darmanitan as well but i put uh, a lot of special defense here maybe for the for the alchemy for the mega manectric for you know just things like that so i have that side covered and then um just try hopefully i can start cursing up and if he tries to toxic me, I'll just heal bell, milk drink, and then body slam to victory. So that's the team, you guys. Hopefully, I can pull off the win here. And uh, we can move to five and three. So I'm going to let him know that I am ready. And I'll let him know what my my uh, user ID, username, ID, PFLS is. And we'll get into the challenge. So I'm going to skip ahead here and... Next, we'll be in the battle. All right, we are back. He has sent the challenge, and I'm going to accept now. So here we go. All right, so he has the Dragapult, the Raccoonid, Jirachi, him on top, Mega Manectric, and the Darmanitan. So no Man Buzz, no Moongus. Great. That is great for me. Um. I guess I just have to worry about the Jirachi going down and and uh, Lele can kind of sweep the, the Darmanitan I do kind of expect to start off. I think I'll start off with Fabio here. So him on top comes out. Not too worried about this. Honestly. I'm um, trying to think, should I even go into Miss Magius? I mean, because I, I should save this for Darmanitan. Let me think. I 
I can just straight up go into Lele here, honestly. I think Lele is a good switch. He can't do much to me. Okay, he toxics me. That's fine. And I'm just going to go straight for the... The Nature's Madness on the Jirachi switch. So I don't see... Yeah, Jirachi comes in. Nature's Madness. Boom. Leftovers. Yeah, just as I thought. I'm going right back out into Fabio here. So that Toxic is a little bit of a problem. But I do have Heal Bell with Mil Tank. Um trying to think he could u-turn here try to iron head flash cannon that's not doing much so he's special that's fine by me i'm gonna mega evolve and uh just volt switch here i get a slow volt switch go right out into So with this, Lele can kind of win. I'm going to go into this. Into this. And, um... I'll court change. And then go into... Back out into Lele. And then I'll just Moonblast... With that Jirachi Weekend. Should be cool. He could Rapid Spin here. Yeah, he Rapid Spins. That's fine. I'm just going to Moonblast now. Moonblast should be a 2-hit KO for the Jirachi. So this Lele is getting weakened little by little, which kind of sucks. But not too concerned. If I can weaken this Hitmontop, then Miltink has a chance. So, so far we have Rapid Spin and Toxic. On this Hitmontop. So Jirachi comes out. Moonblast. Ooh, yeah, yeah, this is 2 KO. So no rocks. Okay, if I can get the heal bell off. All right, Darmanitan comes out. Gonna go into Fabio here. You turn. What's he going out into? Probably Dragapult. No Raquinid. Interesting. That's very interesting. I'm going to Thunderbolt. I don't know what this can do to me. Ice Beam? Okay. So Ice Beam. Um, so I want to keep this for a sack. He is faster, which is weird. I guess Omega Ampharos is pretty slow. I'm trying to think. Miltank is kind of like a free switch here. And so is Miss Magius. Could go Miss Magius. Nah, I'll go. Hmm. Hmm. 
No, I'll just sack this. Oh, so he does that. I am going to go into... Okay, so depending on what I go into, it will depend on what he goes into. Hmm. I'm going to Whitney, the milk tank. We'll probably go hit him on top. That's fine by me. I mean, him on top is free right here. Yeah. Okay. So. Let me think. So he'll probably, he, he'll either toxic or fighting move. Now, let me calc here. How much did he do rapid spin to Lele? 18%. So it looks like he's technician. I'm fairly bulky, but this is a hit on top we're talking about here. Let me see. Hit on top. Lele. Okay, so technician. It's not life for right? What would we do? So we don't know the item. He's not life orb. Let me uh, check. I need to know this kind of damage. What need to do? Okay. Okay, so it's not offensive. Let me see. Wow. Um. Probably not even technician. Oh no, it's duh, it's intimidate. What am I even talking about? I'm so dumb. Okay, so that doesn't even that seems full bulk. Maybe a little bit of attack. So let me see milk tank here. So I am careful with some HP. I mean uh some defense. What kind of defense am I at? 40. I want to know what kind of damage can this do? This can do a lot, but if I curse, then what? See, if he has close combat, that's a problem. But if he toxics, this is my win con, so. I'll sack Fabio here. I'll sack Fabio. Seismic toss. Okay. Um. Ms. Magius. Substitute. Okay, I could win right here. If he goes for Toxic, he's in big trouble. He's not AV. 
Okay, my nectar comes out. Okay, now I'm thinking... Do I nasty plot here? As he breaks the sub. So, let me, I got... I mean, Ms. Magus is fairly specially defensive. I could take a hit, right? Ms. Magus... I'm trying to think. Should I attack twice or nasty plot here? Does a lot and Shadow Ball is a 2 KO, so I'll just Shadow Ball twice. Wow. So he didn't Mega Evolve, which is interesting. Wait, he didn't let me Mega, what the fuck? Did he cancel? Okay. I'm gonna go straight into Muck. This is what Muck is for. turn okay fine by me so our mana 10 comes out i gotta sack something this is tough i want to get um the court change off if I can but I would have to get it off versus hit him on top he's either going to who do I sack I guess I gotta sack Lele is Lele the answer because I mean that's my scarf answer but I feel like sacking Lele is my answer here. But then again, if I get rid of the webs, this can sweep. That can sweep. <sighs> let me think, let me think. Miltink can win. If I get some curses off. So I know this is just U-turn so far. That's tough. It's really tough. Basically, pick my sack, right? If he EQs, I could go Miss Magius. Miss Magius is kind of free here. But EQ, what does EQ do to me? Fuck yeah, I'll just sack Lily. <sighs> Flare Blitz, fine. Okay, now, um, if this can switch moves, that's a problem. I'm gonna risk it anyway and go Cinderace, and I will court change. Wow, that is banded. Is it? Jesus Christ. Is that GG? Man, if only I was thick fat. Let me see. How much does that normally do? Cinderace. I mean, 
me. What if? Okay, let me check scarf. I'm at, let me check adamant scarf. Not has to be banding or life orb, right? Because it's sheer force. Jesus Christ! So that has to be banded. What, what, what kind of damage is that doing to Milk Tank? I think I lost here, guys. Fuck that Darmanitan, man. Okay, I'm not thick fat, which sucks. Whew, that's an Oko. So... If that's the case, though, then that means I outspeed with... Miss Magius. Sub just in case. I mean, the worst case scenario, he just attacks. Okay, cur, cool. And now I shadow ball here. So now see here's the problem if he u-turns fuck it I'm gonna substitute well how much does a u-turn do to Ms. Magius cause if I go into muck and he u-turns then that's a free kill with Darmanitan right So, how much did it do to Muck last time? 16%. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Check the damage here. I got a damage. I got a damage calc here. So I am max HP with 60 life. And it did. No, oh, that's what? No, it's not life orb. doesn't look to be adamant so let's just say I don't know already not even wow that did a little bit he doesn't even seem to be max what, am I missing something here so if that's the case let me see miss Maggie's damage yeah, barely nothing. So I'm gonna substitute. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. He's fuck. I should have just shadow balled. I should have shadow balled. What am I? I'm so stupid. So so stupid. You guys are probably screaming at me. Shadow ball, shadow ball. Fuck me. All right. So he's gonna U-turn. my way of winning here mill tank I gotta get mill tank in somehow okay 
Now go into this. Okay, him on top comes out. Okay, this is my chance. I think. So I'll toxic this. I can knock off here. Earthquake. Okay, so. This is my shot. This is my shot. Okay. Okay, this is my only chance. I curse up. Come on, sir. come on. Yes, I live. Come on. Live again. Please live again. Yes, come on. Yes. No crits, please. Please, no crit. Come on, man. Don't say that yet. Whew. Okay, come on. I'm just asking to be critted, aren't I? Okay, I need to be full HP for the Draco. There we go, there we go, come on. KO, yes, yes. GG. I can't believe I won that. Wow. Wow. Curse Mill Tank, you are a legend. Oh my god. Living that superpower? What was it? Fucking. I had to get that curse. He went into him on top, and that's what sealed the game for me. See, it went after the pursuit. All he had to do was go into Darmanitan. But see, fuck yeah. So, so it took 68% from the superpower. You are a fucking legend. Actually, I think Flare Blitz could have killed me. Well, no, because I already had plus one. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. GG, bro. GG.
That was an amazing battle. I fucked up a few times on that Shadow Ball with Miss Magius. Um, that had to be banded, Darmanitan, I think, to kill Cinderace at there. I calced it, um, Adamant, Scarf, did like 73% max. I was 75. I, I, I don't know if Life Orb, um, no, it turns out it wasn't Life Orb, right? Because, uh, Superpower. It had to have been banded. So, banded. Fucking Darmanitan, Underwebs, crazy game. Um... Man, I, I'm still in shock here, guys. Mill Tank, you are a beast. Um, anyways, GG, bro. Please like the video, guys. That was an amazing battle. And uh, comment down below what you guys thought. Any of your thoughts, just, you know, I would love to hear from you guys. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. We are on a five-game winning streak now, guys. Five and three moving up. Crazy, crazy, crazy battle. Anyways, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.